high. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, thank you, God. Jesus, thank you. Thank you. So I just want to give everyone an update about where I'm at, what I've been doing. So um, I'm out of my old environment. Let's just rewind. About a year ago, I moved back into my parents, and I'm currently out in a different state doing ministry. It's a very unique kind of ministry. Um, a lot of it is me being ministered to and me ministering to others, but I'm in a place where I'm getting back with the body of Christ and working and fellowshipping every day, and so that's good. Um, I just took a step out in faith, and God's been telling me to do this, and I've been arguing with him a lot in, you know, doing that. But I'm out in Arizona right now, and I'm about to go to California, uh, I think next week, or maybe even in a few days, and I'm going to start doing more ministry, ministry and going out to uh, the streets doing more evangelism but um you know i i recently posted videos not recently but over the last year i, po I posted videos about my faith being battled um battled against and my walk um i've struggled with being obedient and i wanted to dedicate my life to music and youtube and studio work and i think that's going to happen still but i definitely put a lot of that aside for now to um, just refocus, rearticulate my walk with God. And so here I am. I don't have my mics or anything. I got my phone. This is the only camera I got. And just being out and doing a, uni uh, a unique kind of ministry. So I'm honestly shook up right now. And yeah, like my environment is a little challenging. My, my situation, you know, this is, you know, there's not a solid, there's not a seemingly solid ground in what I'm doing. There's, there's just faith in a lot of what I'm doing. I'm learning how to live more by faith right now. But I'm, I'm honestly particularly shook up because I sought Jesus more than I have in a while. And so his presence has come pretty heavily in my life in my heart, in my mind, in my soul. And there's the peace, there's the boldness, there's the, the knowing that the, that the inner witness of the Holy Spirit, His stillness, His presence is with me. And also with that, His presence and who He is and where he, wherever He's taken me and calling me, He's shook me up quite a bit. He is wanting me to make more videos of me just expressing myself. And this is something I don't want to do. I don't want to make talking videos so much. And um, I want to just make music. I want to worship. And I believe that's going to happen. But things are definitely changing. Um, corners are turning. Wheels are spinning. And I just have a deep conviction just to tell you guys some things that God has spoken to me over even years, things, the uh, visions and just words that God has given me. Um, first of all, I got very far away from the spiritual gifts. I started to kind of not believe them. I questioned them a lot and I had to make sure that my faith was right. Um, specifically being founded on the simple gospel of Jesus Christ that, you know, I'm not saved by works or how mature of a Christian I am or anything like that, but that Jesus died and rose again and I'm forgiven if I believe. And so I refounded that. And then after that, you know, his presence takes us to new places. And for a while I kind of just wasn't getting that far into his presence, but now I'm seeing that when I get farther into his presence, the reality of the kingdom of heaven and God's invisible attributes 
become more and more present in me. And so I don't know, if, I, don't, I don't think I necessarily need to repent because it was a learning process, but I, I'm going to say I'm sorry for not being so much in the things, the messages that God has shown me, given me. Um, first thing I want to say is I did post a video on this tornado dream. And that, that God was wrecking the body of Christ, the church specifically, the man-made church structure. God has been undoing this, and it's been so present. You know, COVID's hit, and things are kind of starting to really clear up, at least it looks like. Um, but the, the process of rebuilding up the body is exactly where I think we are all at. The new church... Um, is getting put together and i actually had a vision about this a few years ago that i never i don't think i've ever spoken of but i had this vision before before that tornado dream um when i was still kind of in my spiritual growth spirit i saw this vision where it was like i saw like above church buildings i saw it was like i was on a drone or on google earth or whatever and i saw like like a catholic church and a baptist church and all these different denominations and church buildings and it was like I saw this giant hand it was obviously God's hand I saw God's hand reach and like grab these buildings and as he was grabbing these buildings the buildings were just like torn apart and God was grabbing these chunks out of these buildings these gems these precious stones these people and whatever was willing and ready or yeah, yeah ready for God's specific use Whatever was a, a heavenly gift given from God to those on this earth, God was grabbing these chunks of these buildings and leaving the remains of this torn up church spiritually. And then taking like this church and taking this and taking all these churches and gathering them together and building a brand new church. And however that looks, I don't know. I never saw how that looks. I have no idea. But I know that it was all about taking the good, refined, precious things from each churchianity thing and putting up a completely new in the spirit you know godly church and so i clearly see this process in my life and I think around as people are moving around still scattered off still doing what they're doing um, to seek God and to seek their calling and destiny and obedience and reverence and all these things. This is where we're at. I acknowledge that this is where I know where I'm at, where a lot of us are at. The people I've been fellowshipping with are here. And I completely believe that the people that I'm about to meet up with are also in this same pending process of building up the church. So I just want to acknowledge that things right now for a lot of us are very confusing.